This week on Quattro's Card Talk, I stand on a truck, I giggle like a schoolgirl, and I talk leasing versus buying. First up this week, I'm going to show you a very unique tonneau cover on the all-new 2019 Ford Ranger. Here we have the, the all-new 2019 Ford Ranger. Now I'm not going to do a walk around on the whole truck in this one, but I do want to highlight the tonneau cover that's on this, which is a very neat retractable cover by Advantage called the Embark LS. The, the unique feature of this tonneau cover is the way it retracts. So you have this, the soft folding tonneau covers, you've got the hard one-piece tonneau covers, and Ford even has the hard rolling tonneau covers. This is none of these. This is actually uh, more like an overhead door design. So you've got a, a latch here, all right, which you pop up, and then it just slides back. Now once it's slid open, you can actually close it down and lock it in this position. Now the one drawback to this tonneau cover is the, is the cartridge itself, which does store away inside the bed. So as you can see, it does take up a considerable amount of the bed, and that is the one drawback. But if you're looking for, say, an Explorer Sport from back in the day, the, the Sport Trek, where you had the trunk in the back more opposed to a bed, it could be a bed, but it served more as a trunk, that's what this is really going to be good for. Because as you look at the bottom of the cartridge, it actually has tubes that drain it, because obviously when you retract it and it's wet, it's going to have lots of water that's going to go down into that cartridge. So it does have the ability to drain. Um, but it does give you a, a pretty watertight seal. Not 100% watertight because it is a bed. Uh, when you're done with it and you want to cover it back up, then you simply latch it up and it closes. Another cool feature of this tonneau cover is its versatility. So maybe you like to kayak or canoe or mountain bike and with the tonneau cover closed it's gonna be hard to have your bike in there or your boat in there but if you look at the side here on the side rails it's actually got a channel system kind of like your SUVs where you can you can get accessory uh, bolt-on accessories that'll be like a roof rack for your bed. Um, the other cool thing about this is the strength. Now obviously I'm not the lightest guy in the world but I'm 250 pounds and I can stand on it. So it can handle a lot of weight as well. So there you have it. The, uh, the tonneau cover, a little bit unique in the segment in the fact that it's not a, a soft fold up. It's not a hard tonneau. It's a, it's a really versatile option in the tonneau cover market. The price on this unit is $2,099, whether you have the five foot bed or the six foot bed. But if you're looking for the durable, uh, versatile tonneau cover that's going to kind of give you the trunk ability on your truck that's the one for you all right this week on finance corner i am with stephen southworth the finance manager here at burdick ford good afternoon so he's our resident mr rogers and as you can tell he's a jolly soul i'm the finance guy um, he's the one that does all the financing, and today we're actually going to be talking buying versus leasing. So Stephen, what is the one advantage of leasing opposed to a buy? So when you lease a vehicle, you don't pay for the entire vehicle, you only pay for that portion that you're going to use. Okay, so if you're the kind of person that likes to get into a new vehicle every three years, that way you are always under warranty, you, um, and you get lower payments, because you're only paying for the depreciation that happens while you are in possession of the vehicle. Okay, so you get lower payments. So for example, if you buy a $50,000 vehicle, in, in three years it's gonna be worth 25,000. If you bought it, you would pay the entire $50,000 up front and then hope that in three years you get that 25 back in trade. When you lease it, you keep the extra $25,000 and you only pay for the First, the depreciation that happens during the first three years, which gives you the benefit of a lower monthly payment. So. Oh, okay, so one of the biggest objections that we hear with leasing on a daily basis is, I don't get to own it at the end of the lease. It's not mine. 
there's no equity. You're paying into something. You're never going to get any money back. H how do you combat that, or how, how do you explain to customers the, the reason why that's really a fallacy? Well, it is true that you're not the owner of the vehicle. You're not the title holder. But when you buy a vehicle, the, the, the bank that does the financing puts a lien on the vehicle, and you don't have any equity because it depreciates almost immediately, and it takes a long while for that equity to catch up. So while you don't own the vehicle, you are in possession of the money that would have been spent up front. And I would rather have that extra $25,000, as per our earlier example, or the extra $200 per month, in my bank account mm -hmm. then give it to the bank and hoping to get it back when you trade the vehicle in. Right. So to, to kind of combat that, that whole fallacy, you know, the, the $200 a month that you're paying extra for a buy, so on the lease you're not paying that. So you can actually take that $200 a month that you were willing to pay because you want to own the vehicle and you can put it in the bank and gain interest on it in your own savings account. And if you take $200 a month, for example, and it's usually probably closer to 100, so let's use 100 as an example, for 36 months, that's $3,600 that you're not paying for three years. Is that correct? That's absolutely right. That's money in the bank. Okay, so and that, so that's essentially a guarantee that three years from now, you're going to have $3,600 in equity if you were to take the $100 and put it aside. To put towards your next vehicle. Exactly. Other yeah. than gambling on whether or not your vehicle will hold value or depreciate, you're letting Ford Credit take that gamble, mm -hmm. and it takes away any of the risk to you, the, the vehicle owner. Sure, because if three years from now it's worth significantly less than, than they anticipated it'd be worth, whose problem is that? That's Ford Credit's problem. Exactly. Your exactly. Residual, it's called the residual, the value at turn in, is guaranteed. It's a contractual thing. It's on the contract and it cannot change. Okay. Well, thank you, Stephen Southworth, for joining me this week. Uh, this, is, this is Finance Corner uh, with Stephen Southworth. And uh, hopefully you learned something today, and uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you, Steve, for that. Time's already? Up next, we have a very nice treat for you. We're going to take a look at one of our pre-owned vehicles, a 2017 Ford Mustang GT. So right now I'm driving our 2017 Ford Mustang GT that we've got on our pre-owned lot. And it's got the 5.0 liter V8, as you'd expect in the GT. Uh, also, it's got the track performance package as well, which gives it a stiffer suspension, uh, larger wheels. Uh, it's actually got the nice black 20s on it, which look really sharp. Let's go in here, we'll take it up on uh, the highway. See how it handles up on the on the highway. The one thing that I absolutely love about Ford's 5.0 Mustangs is the sound that they make. And I'm not sure if you can hear that, but it is a very happy V8. That is definitely ready to go as soon as you put your foot down. gets up the highway speed without any hesitation. But it is a beautiful sound. So this one here is not the GT Premium. And the GT Premium would get you the leather seats, touchscreen radio. Uh, this doesn't have those, but that's okay. Because if you're looking for a, uh, a vehicle that you can just enjoy, it's not about the luxury. It's about a good, fun vehicle to just enjoy a beautiful sunny day like today. And this has got it. And one of the other unique features of the Mustang is drive modes. So let's play around with those a little bit. So right now we're in sport mode as far as that's the, that's the feeling that you get. So it's got a nice tight feel to it. Let's, let's try something else here. This is comfort mode. So you're just cruising down the highway and you just want to enjoy the ride. 
this stuff it loosens up the steering loosens up the suspension a little bit you know, it just gives you that a little bit more comfortable ride um, I don't know if you can tell but the bumps on the highway are, are greatly reduced uh, when it's in sport mode you can feel every single bump and I'm not saying that it's a Lincoln and you're not going to feel any bumps those are there but it's not going to be the you know bone jarring bumps you're going to get in the sport mode and then normal is kind of a hybrid of the two now, I'll be honest I'm impartial to this to the sport mode I enjoy the feel that you get from the sport mode um, you know it's going to be just a more fun enjoyable ride that's going to give put a smile on your face so we're going to put her back in sport mode now this one here is the six speed manual transmission uh, anybody that knows me knows that I'm a, I'm a racer and I enjoy racing not on the street but on the track so it's it'd be, it's hard for me to understand a sports car without a manual transmission and I know it's becoming the new norm they all do it now it doesn't mean I have to enjoy it and I'm not gonna play it off like they're not fun to drive that's, that's not what I'm saying I'm saying that I really enjoy the the just purest shifting it's just it's enjoyable to me and there's a lot of people out there like me and I know that um, and I know on paper on the new ones that the 10 speed transmission is faster and I'm not going to deny that it's tuned uh, much differently than your six speed I mean heck you got four extra gears you know so right now I'm in fifth gear we're jumped on to sixth you know that puts me at about let's see I'm Going around 70 miles an hour that puts me right at about 2,000 rpm so not bad on gas if you're talking you know right around 2,000 but what i like about the the manual is to be able to just you know just drop it down and just enjoy the sound that that motor makes So with the track pack, or the, the performance package, they call it on this, uh, you're also getting a couple gauges on the, on the center gauge cluster. You've got the oil pressure gauge, as well as, if it was a turbo, we'd call it a boost gauge, but since it's a naturally aspirated engine, it's a vacuum gauge. And you've still got some of the niceties like cruise control, Bluetooth, um, a radio which you'd expect today and all the safety features as well with airbags with traction control so even if it gets a little wet you've still got plenty of protection if you're not as experienced a driver as, as some may be the odometer on this one's at 17,500 miles so it still has plenty of life the best part about a sports car like this is you don't need to be going fast to enjoy it. Now cruising along down the highway may not be the most exhilarating. Uh, we do have an off-ramp coming up here that we're going to get off on. That's going to give us an opportunity to corner a little bit. But like I said, you don't need to be going fast to enjoy a car like this. It's just the, it's the sound of it is all you need. God, I love that engine. A little cornering. If you're having a bad day there's there's just no doubt that that engine will put a smile on your face and if you're looking for a new one this one is pre-owned 17 anything 18 or newer they've actually made the sound so much better and I hope in a future video to be able to show you that um, they've actually got a mode on the new ones to make it quieter that's how loud it is the exhaust on this one's completely stock. There's no intakes. Uh, there's no aftermarket intakes. Um, you know, this is just pure the way Ford designed it. And uh, 
How can you not love it? Now this one's priced under 30000 so it's very affordable for this much fun. It's practically brand new. Now as I mentioned earlier, it's got the, the, uh, the larger black wheels on it. Uh, it's actually got an aftermarket uh, louver recorder windows, um, smoked out tail lights. So it does have some extras that the uh, that it wouldn't come from base. Um, it's just a whole lot of fun. I'm telling you, you don't need to be going fast to enjoy this car. It's just so much fun all the time. I'm smiling here going five miles an hour. I mean, <laughs> it's incredible. That's all we have this week. Uh, next week, we're gonna have a special treat for you where we're actually gonna test drive the all new 2019 Ranger. But that's next week. So for, for now, goodbye, and we'll see you next week.